Wisheru Beer Truck Air Freshener. There you go. That's a product. That it. <laughs> We're gonna market this. Wish you were beer. I'm Mike. I'm Steve. And we're gonna drink some beer. We are looking at a uh, pickup truck. By Thurnbury Village. Let's, let's, let's dive in, shall we? Um... I mean... Looks like a Pilsner. It's it's not completely clear. Uh, yeah, actually for Pilsner it's pretty clear. It's good color, good clarity. You can't really improve on it. It's no. like five out of five. It looks like a Pilsner. It's light. Had good uh, had a good head. Yep. Just the right amount of bubbles. Yeah. It's good. Five out of five. You look like a beer. Yeah. Good on you. I'm getting like nothing. <laughs> yeah, that it's, very, it's a I very can't... light smell. Yeah. Maybe yeah. like pine. Which I mean, kind of makes pickup truck. It looks like it should be in a forest. The can at least. Maybe, or like a truck air freshener. I don't know what to say because like it's not there. No. But and that's not like bad. In between three. It's yeah. Cool. It has a pleasant smell like when you get really in there. It's yeah. It's like caramel in it. It's a little bit of beery. It's a little bit of hoppy. It's a little bit of mash. Yeah, three. I'm going three. three. <laughs> Delayed. Wow. You know the um, the beer making kits where everything is already made and you just have to add water and then like yeah, yeah, yeah. steep, you don't have to do it. It tastes like that smells. Yeah. 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 Like all the mash together. You're right. It smells like all of the ingredients of beer, but doesn't completely taste like beer. <laughs> There's like that slight metallic tang of an aftertaste. Mm, yeah. That unexpected. Yeah. Unexpected. But that's what this show is about. Spontaneity mm -hmm. and Boy. discovering things as we go. Uh, no. I'm, I'm giving it a four to five for taste because I wasn't expecting it and I don't hate it. I'm going 3.5. It's not a, what I expected from mm -hmm. a Pilsner. Bit of a shocking taste, not shocking, but unexpected. Hmm. And it, it gets better the more you drink, as most things in life do. Pleasant mouthfeel. It feels like a beer show. Surprising taste aside, all of the bits of a good Pilsner are there. Mm -hmm. It's got something to say. It, it showed up and you're like, this is the quiet thing. It's, it's like, now I have but, something to say. But yeah, I was expecting a pretty basic beer, like, mm. like a Canadian, really, a Molson, mm. but it's got more of a sting than that. Mm. It does, yeah. So, I don't, for the adventurous Pilsner drinker, and I know you're up there. 3.54? 3, yeah. Let's, um, we've never gone super decimal on 3.75 in the three episode history of this show. 3.75? Are we doing it? We're breaking barriers. We are. That's what it's about. That's what 2017 is. It's don't be afraid to be who you are. Break all the barriers. It's we love you all, no matter what number you are on a scale of 1 to 5. Yeah, it's 3.75. It's done. Cheers. Cheers. We're gonna drink some beer now. Only faster. Cheers. Let's make problems go away. God damn it, how? <laughs>